Good evening everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Zalia and I am so so happy that you all have stuck around. If it's your first time viewing, welcome. If you are one of my subscribers, hey girl. Um, my last video would have been my Valentine's Day video where I transformed from basic to body or bougie, something like that. Um, I'll try to link the video below or somewhere on top. I've been really busy um, since, let's see, last December. Um, Work-wise, preparing for audits, so you know I had a lot on my plate. I didn't really have time to film as I wanted to. In addition to the fact that um, we are going through a now a pandemic worldwide with this coronavirus, um, it would be remiss of me if I didn't just take two minutes to highlight. You know, I don't really want to get too much into it because personally for me um, I must admit I am feeling a bit overwhelmed not by the severity of what's happening but more so um, the amount of posts persons are making they keep sharing forwarding information incessantly and to me it's really a bit much is starting to affect my equilibrium so today I had to, um, I exited two groups for that same reason again it's not that I'm scared or anything but everybody deals with things differently and for me I like to educate myself on whatever the issue is um, I keep abreast of what's happening with the virus all the precautions to take etc but I don't like being bombarded um, with unnecessary information. Sometimes 20 times a day you get the same video or the same meme or the same letter that the government sent out. Listen, we all have access to this information. We are all reading, keeping abreast and I think that um, it will be helpful to our mental health if we can really take a step back and focus on what's important ensure that you and your family are being safe that we are washing our hands we are using these hand sanitizers um, when we go out and we come back we try and change our clothes um, I usually when I'm leaving work I would wash my hands and sanitize before I get to my car pick up my keys um, when I get in the car, I have um, isopropyl, so I would spray down my steering. When I get at home, I wash my hands again. I change out of the clothes that I would have had on, whether it be at work or if I went out. Um, I sanitize my handbag, my keys, and most importantly, my phone, because those are the items that I would usually have laying around close to my bed. I would be on my phone, etc. So. I make sure and sanitize the items that I use regularly. Um, so that's all I would like to say on that. And now on to the purpose of this video. I've been wanting to do this for the longest while and I kept hoarding items and then when I clean out I would throw it away. So I can't even say this is uh, empties video for March or January. It's just um this video is going to be about items I have used up. Some of it may be from last year, some of it may be from this year, but they are items that I have used. Some of them are repurchases. Uh, some of them I may never repurchase. I'm going to say the items that I like. I have some skincare, I have some makeup items, I have some stuff that I really didn't get through too much of it, but I'll be getting rid of because it's just sitting taking space on my vanity and probably expired by now so I'll be going through them in no particular order of skincare hair care I'll just literally get into the bag and discuss the items um, small disclaimer if you're hearing a fan in the back 
the fan on because it's hot and these lights don't really help and uh, obviously my handy dandy bag is here so if you're hearing a little noise forgive me yeah and I just tore off the whole handle one second okay so this is my bag of goodies maybe I should have um gotten a better bag but <laughs> forgive me so the first item in my box sorry what is wrong with me? in my bag is a favorite favorite of mine I don't know how many of you have heard of the brand uh, Annie's share light um, they're most known for their um, skin fading cream but I really want to talk about This is the soap. It's the exfoliating soap. It's made with um, essential oils. It says it removes dry, dead skin, leaving skin softer and clearer. Um, it can be used as a face and body. Sorry. It can be used on your face and your body. I really, really like the soap. It's almond um, scented. Um, it's made with sodium hydroxide, rose water, coconut oil, glycerin, vitamin E, African shea butter, and almond oil. Um, at the bottom of the soap, there are poppy seeds and oats, which again will help with the exfoliation. I started using this product first, and when I tell you, it gets, I wear makeup at least six days to the week I work in an office environment so Monday to Friday I am usually made up like this this makeup is actually from this morning I would have made up my face since 6 30 don't worry I showered I just saved my face I said since the makeup is looking so popping still let me just hop on here and do a video yeah so um that soap takes off all of my makeup even if I don't do a first cleanse with like a wipe or um, one of those cleansing balms that soap really gets rid of all of my makeup most importantly it doesn't leave your skin feeling dry and stripped out so I really love that soap and it's share like a soap if you go on Facebook and Instagram there are several persons who um sell the product if you're interested um, you can DM me at Leeti Loki on Instagram I'll link my Instagram and below I can give you a contact for someone that sells the product uh, my next product is shampoo this is the Garnier Fruities the whole Benz this is from the whole Benz line this particular one is this is a hydrating two-in-one, um, supposed to be a shampoo and conditioner, all-in-one. Um, this particular line, the whole blend on this line is really nice, as you can see, 100% um, natural. This really works for natural hair. However, this particular one, I still go in with a conditioner because of the type of hair that I have. I need something to still make my hair manageable when it's time to comb it out but this really works it doesn't strip your hair it lathers nicely I, I love the whole whole blends um, line the shampoo and conditioner I use that as well and it's really affordable it's like 35 to 40 dollars depending on where you purchase it if you see me keep doing like these wear gestures I am dealing with a back pain since yesterday so please bear with me I have here the Himalaya oil clear face wash for oily combination skin my lights are kind of brighter so forgive me I didn't really like this face this face wash was very meh for me um, it didn't really wash it didn't do anything and that's 
as much as I would say. Um, the face didn't feel clean, in my opinion. I didn't like it. Now this one is from Ghani. This is from their Skin Nutters line. It's a cleansing gel. Uh, it says cleanses and refreshes with grape extract for normal to oily skin. This was this was a decent. Trying to see. This was a decent um, face wash. It was just decent. It was just okay. It wasn't earth shattering. It was a little better than the Himalayan, but it was alright for the price. It was about maybe $25. I got this in Chinese. Super simple. Okay, so this is a product that I did not really like I got this in a ipsy box this is the pixie skin treats glow mist with propolis and argon oil um, it's supposed to be um, a skin mist that you can use before makeup to hydrate the skin you can use it after the makeup to set your makeup and give that glow from within look I have combination oily skin leaning more on the oily especially in my t-zone so better believe that i wasn't really here for this but i got it in the box um i used to use it probably at night when i wash my face i did my skin care i would use it as like a moisturizer and then for some reason the mister started to miss in a real kind of ugly way look in this big see so it wasn't and that was like when the product was relatively full so i really wasn't too excited to use this um so to be honest i used to spray this in my hair if it's good for your face it's good for and i don't really care for the smell I wouldn't even use this on clients. I, I just didn't really like it. I have it, I'll use it out, but okay, so next we have an next hair care item. It's the Lotta Body Coconut and Sheer Oil Style Me Texturizing Setting Lotion. Um I would have purchased this when my hair was still relaxed. Um and also to use when I had my bundles in my hair. This product is bomb for setting bundles, human hair bundles to do in a rod set or even in your natural hair. I really liked it. I am not a fan of anything coconut unless it's to cook. But this, you see, this still has a smell in it. But this has a really nice hair. Yeah. The coconut smell in this is not overpowering or sickness. It's really nice. All their products are really nice. I will have tried the edge control. There is a wrap mousse um, I use in my hair when I try the permanent set on my natural hair. Um, they also have a, they have a kids line and I see that it came out recently with something I think with honey for natural hair. So you all can check it out. Still smelling it. I really, really, really love Lotta Body, and it's very affordable. You can get it in Pennywise and most um, drugstores. Okay, so next I have some setting sprays. This little setting spray here. This is a clean, clean color Pro Sila makeup setting spray matte finish. When I tell you this setting spray really works. Um, there's a bigger size to it, but I hardly ever see it. So whenever I go out and I see it, if I see it in the big bottle, the small bottle, I would usually buy and keep. I really like this. Whenever I see it, I purchase it. This works. It really does keep your face matte and it really helps your makeup to last 
cut in long, long, long things. I love it. Next set and spray here again that was a surprise. It's the City Color Matte Setting Spray. Now the City Color line they have setting spray. They have the matte setting spray. There's also um, I believe one for oil control. There's also oil control primer spray. Um, that combination of the primer spray and the setting spray is bomb.com. As I said, I have very oily skin and I would make up at morning, go to work, from work I go directly to the gym and I come back home at 9 and my face looks as I'm looking now, as you can see. No, I'm not wearing this today. Um, the spray that I have, I actually got a Tarte setting spray again in my Ipsy box and I was kind of on the fence about that particular setting spray. I felt as though it made me a little dewy, although it said it's matte. So what I did is that I mixed a few of my setting sprays into it. Um, and it would probably have some in this. So right now my setting spray is mixed. It's not, it's not only tart in that bottle. The tart smells amazing, but I didn't really like um, on its own the finish it gave me. Something about it had me in this area here looking a little dewy. And not like not in a skin like finish. It's as though I had like oil sitting on my face, but not not super oily, but not not fresh looking like this. But I don't know if you get what I'm trying to say. But again, I really love this satin spray. Next item is a Freeman mask. This was one of the first masks I tried from the brand. This is the Dead Sea Minerals Anti-Stress Mask. And I have a love-hate relationship with this mask. So, to be honest, when I first started using this mask, I hated it. Because it has this sort of slippery texture. But the more I used it, I really started to love it. And now it is so difficult to get this to buy. I had the mask and I had the face wash. And half of the mask used to end up down the sink because as it squeezes out, it would just slip and slide out of the, um, the tube. But I really, this is a really good mask if you have oily skin. I would recommend it highly if you can find it. Next up, I have a hair oil. It's from Africa's Best Textures Anti Breakage Fab 5. It's made with flaxseed, coconut, castor, manoi and jojoba oil this is the bottle i really like this um i would use this as my after wash um probably sealant now i'm now getting into the terms with this natural hair and loc and lco and whatever but what i would do is wash my hair um while it is still damp i would put in my moisturizer and then i would use my oil and this will keep my hair moisturized for the entire week. People will always ask me, what is it? What does it have in here? What jelly is it? And it's usually just, this had my hair looking really moisturized and healthy and all good stuff. Next, I have my Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder in the shade Medium Deep. I use this powder for setting on the eye. Um, I really love this powder. It's finely milled. Um, however, I have noticed that some I have a love hate relationship with it because sometimes it will blend out really easily, and sometimes again it kind of sticks to your feet. So you just have to um, work in small sections. Take your time, or else. Um, you might have a little problem blending it out, but this really um, keeps under the eye smooth. I like it. I just wish that they would increase the shade reach. The shades are kind of weird. A lot of the, the um, shades have a very pink undertone to them. This one isn't even a real banana shade, but 
this is as best as I felt would work for me. I also have the shade, this is in the shade 30. I have the shade 40, which I use as an all over powder. Up um, is my Arista face powder. So this one is, I used it up. This is in the shade, or oh, it was in the shade Sahara. Um, as I said, my complexion has changed so much in the last maybe two to three years. I've gotten so dark, but I actually used to use Sahara. If you can see a little bit in the corner there as an all over powder, but now I cannot use this as an all over powder. I probably just be able to use it as a highlighter under the eyes, on the nose, forehead, and this area here. But the Arista powders, I really love them. Um, I believe this line is made by Sasha Cosmetics and I more like loose powders but I really love this particular um, powder. It keeps you, it gives you a really nice smooth finish. Um, again over the years to me the even the shades to me there is a bit um, difference in the shades. I the darkest shade I think is nutmeg. Um, it was a nice deep cocoa shade, and for some reason now it's a bit light. But if you could get a shade to match you, these powder and you like pressed powders, these powders are really really nice, and I think slept on. So my next item is the. LA Girl Strobe Light Strobing Powder. Now when this came out, it, now these items were really loved. When this came out, it was like almost $60 in Wonderful Wool. And I got it in my area in a normal tiny shop. No, it wasn't fake, it's the real brand for I think $30. So you know who girl well I bought one and my sister took it. And I bought these two more. After this a bronzy shade, a gold shade and a shadow scoop out. Don't forget to see this one as a sort of pinky iridescent. Really pretty shade. I don't know if it will um pick up on camera but it has a it's looking dusty here in the light, but it has a really um sort of pink reflect. Very pretty, depending on your eye look. If you're wearing like a purple or pink eye look, this really complements um, those colors. Um, if you see these, um, the hype around it has died on, but this was a really good highlighter. Be able to get it in Pennywise a bit cheaper. Next Ipsy item is the Marc Jacobs 100% Coconut Oil and Shea Butter. This is their Hydrating Cool Cream. When I tell you I love this product. Again, another coconut product that really shocked me. It smells really good. Um, my hair loved it a little. Went a long way. This tiny tube last me a very very long time and it kept my hair moisturized and shiny and as i said the smell is amazing um i would i have seen it on amazon i don't know for those of you who live in the us uh, maybe it will be available in ultra or maybe walmart but that product is really great i intend to go on amazon and purchase uh, other items. I, I tried two items from Ipsy so far from the Marc Jacobs line and I would absolutely recommend it with my eyes closed for persons with natural hair. I can't say for persons with relaxed hair. I haven't been relaxed in two years. Next hair care product is the Garnier Fruities Nourishing Treat 1 Minute Hair Mask. Now this is um a hair mask and it's also a leave-in conditioner. I picked this up in the grocery on a whim and it 
one is really really nice I must say Ghana has some really nice um, products that can be used in both relaxed and um, natural hair my hair love this I love this it's something that I would definitely this is the is this is the mini size it comes in a bigger tub um, I paid about 25 to 30 dollars for this it's a bigger size for around 50 to 60 dollars um, and they are also different um, flavors or fragrance or whatever you want to call it this one is the shocker coconut I want a coconut head for somebody who like who doesn't like coconut but I know for sure there's an avocado one to this so you can try out this product next we have the infamous Sasha fix it spray this um, is empty it's an all-time favorite um, the fix it spray does what it says it fixes the makeup um, takes away powderiness and to me that is where the box stops with the fix it spray it simply takes away the powder powderiness of your makeup in terms of um helping the makeup last longer i would not say that it helps with longevity of the makeup that will come down to probably the products that we use and the makeup application but it's it's a certain spray and it does that's what it says i have you purchased that over and over but um for the price i tend to sway more towards the um, city color matte setting spray I would purchase two of those instead of buying the Sasha um, fix it spray to be honest um, to me it works better if you know you know this is the body drench 3 in 1 cleanse and melt gel to oil facial cleanser um, this was first introduced to me in the beauty chat room um, when I tell you this product confused me because it will go on your face as an oil and when you go to bed it will wash off which is the total opposite of the Pond's cold cream which also goes on as an oil but you need a soap to get that off your skin or maybe a makeup wipe and still soap, a cleanser, sorry, to get it off. Um, but this you can put this on your face and pop in the shower and it rinses right off it gets all the makeup off it is also excellent for getting stubborn makeup out of your makeup brushes and beauty blenders for those of you that use the beauty blenders um, totally recommended 100% I have some skincare here this is the Myzon Myzon all in one snail repair cream i bought this and there was another i think an essence um most likely I, I threw out that one but this product was really 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 good it's like a moisturizer i use it in the morning i use it in the night um a little this little jar lasted me probably a year no lie you really needed a little and you saw a visible difference in your skin this is something i would definitely repurchase anything from the miser line okay so if i look a little different i was sitting on a bar stool but it is cramping my butt so i'm standing and i'm gonna wrap up the rest of this video so my next product as i was saying before is the the color primer spray this is what it looks like um, it also comes in light is so bright a oil control version I believe so everything they have it will have the normal one and then it would have one for persons with oily skin but either one this primer skin I get this oh, look. this primer spray is excellent to prep the skin um, for makeup and in my opinion it helps with longevity of your makeup look so we have this elf remember this eyeshadow 
broke it. Sorry, I broke it. Um, this had a this is hard, is it open? a gel and a powder. Um, I never really like this because even though it looks very dark here, when you try to put it on your face, see, it, the, it didn't have much pigment and it used to just like glide and skip over my eyebrows. I don't know for others, but it was a difficult product to use. Again, this is something that my sister gave to me because she purchased it for herself and as a newbie in makeup, she was finding it very difficult to use. Now, I made it work because I had my experience. We exchanged um, brow kits. I had a brow kit from somebody else that was, it worked better for her, but this just ended up on my makeup shelf collecting dust, so it's going in the bin. A product that did not work for me, and if any of you use this and would like to have it, I would gladly meet up and give it to you after Corona. But this is the City Color Mattifying Balm. It looks like this. Um, I use it just once to try, and hello, I got oily as heck. It feels as though it would do what it says when you put it on your hand. It has a feel of like the um, LA Girl Pro Primer, that silicone primer. That's what this feels like. Of course, the first ingredient in here is dimethicone. And if you are familiar with products that have dimethicone, dimethicone they all have this sort of slippery silicone feel. So, um, yeah. But as opposed to the LA Girl Primer, which um, blurs and you know really smooths all the face, this, this made me hella oily. Fifty gold dollars. This dud. But it's not very usual that City Color produces dud, so um, I'll give them a pass. I love the brand, but I did not like this particular product. So we're on the home stretch now. Another item that I had to throw away. Does anybody still use these? This is the Sasha Fix It Eye Primer. I had this when I first, from when I first started out makeup. Before I started using concealers as primer, this is what I would have used. It um still feels good. This is a sort of beige color. It, it 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 did its job, I must say. But I just kind of I don't know why I stopped using it. Um, I kind of stepped away from the brand itself. I like their foundations, but it used to just make me so oily. As a makeup artist, they were probably the only brand around where you could get the pro palettes with the powder and the um foundations you know so it made it easier on your kit but as makeup or drugstore makeup evolved you know a lot of people started moving away from Sasha um, mostly because of the oiliness of the foundations um, I recently put I purchased the um, when they came out with the pro powders the foundation powders I purchased that palette I don't think I will repurchase it I want to repurchase the original normal um, what do you call it press powder palette um, the pro powder for me whenever I use that and the setting spray sometimes when you spray it makes holes in your makeup it to me that powder is difficult to use uh, it that is my opinion I don't know for anybody else I use it on clients but I am very bummy when using that product as I said sometimes it lifts off the makeup when you're trying to put in the certain spray and there's too much work and anxiety for me when using that palette the next problem I have with that palette is that most of my clients are medium to dark skin and the dark palette a lot of the shades are extremely red tone they have great depth to them but there aren't enough yellow tone dark shades in the palette so the light shades are very light 
and the dark shades are hella dark and hella orange so I didn't really enjoy that palette um, I just use it more for contouring and I use the light shades to set under the eyes but it's not um, my go-to I use it in my kit because it's curvy but um, I, I don't love it on this side I'm more like my Maybelline powders for setting and all over and MAC um, Studio Fix Plus foundation powder. So as I said, this is most likely expired, it will be going in the bin and that's that. So I have one more um, skincare item and it's a, uh, this is the FPL facial essence mask you could get these in Pennywise um, it comes in a box of I'd say about four masks and it's really cheap it's like under $20 these masks are bomb they do what they say um, this one is for firming and lifting there's a collagen one um, they're always out of stock so I would recommend that if you go to Pennywise and you see them grab it up hoard it because it usually sells out really uh, quickly um, I'm quickly liking the FPL brand I recently bought the um, it's a face wash with baking soda I like it it's a little drying but you know it does the job it cleanses the face nicely it has some little granules in it I like it but it's you just need to um, hydrate what did I put on my face? hydrate after um, using that particular cleanser and now I have a range of foundations I'm always trying foundations most of my products will be drugstore items um, as I said I like drugstore items if I find something that's from the drugstore and it works I'll use it if everyone can remember when this photo focus um, foundation became a thing sometimes sometime last year and I'm guessing again because of YouTube you know it was it became popular it was always out but it became really popular um, it comes with a applicator like this I got the shade this was mahogany I believe yeah but this shade was really really orange this is the next brand that I needed to fix the shade range is either the darker shades were too orange or they were too cool so the shade down from this would have been too cool for me and this one was too orange but I still would make it work but it is hella 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 orange see extremely orange so when I wore this I would look like Oompa Loops And this makeup is coming off as soon as I'm finished with this video so it's okay um next uh, again Facebook beauty chat room um YouTube made me buy it this was the LA girl pro matte now they had the LA girl pro foundation I wanna come have it in here no I'll throw out that one yeah, so this came out after the LA Girl. Um, they had a pro, which was more dewy, oily. That foundation, the finish was beautiful. Um, the pigmentation, it just needed like a little bit. Um, and go to your whole face. The problem is, oil, us oily girls were not able to really use it because it was a really oily type um, foundation and then it came out with this. This was okay, this was good, but to me, the shades were not, they didn't have enough depth. So I bought Cappuccino the first time and recently I think I picked up Sable and something else for my kit. Um, just getting some in between shades and um, this works it's, it's decent it's a decent foundation I just wish that the shade range was better um, 
the dark shades were not that very dark but this is a good this is the LA Girl Pro Matte High Definition Longwear Matte Foundation I think it does what it says and it's really holy grail for some people it's not my holy grail next is another foundation that got a lot of hype but I didn't really care for it um, this is the CoverGirl Full Spectrum Matte Ambition this is what it looks like um, I got the shade Deep Golden 2 um, this went on nicely but for something that says matte to me it was a bit more soft matte kind of dewy kind of finish so I I didn't really like it to me it was just mm, this also reminds me of the is it cover girl too boy there was another matte foundation that came out around the time with this this reminds me of that which I didn't really like too much either right so mm, there's a done so these all right let me do a high-end bougie one everybody knows this is the Estee Lauder um, double wear this is in the shade 8 and 1 this shade was way too dark for me because it was given to me by my sister so I had it in my kit I would just use it to either um, contour or for my darker clients personally see pretty dark and a little in this goes along look at that little little thing I put there and look how it just keeps going that little speck would have foundation the whole side of my face um this foundation is bulletproof but for me it's a little too bulletproof I felt as though my face felt on unnatural when I wore this that's the best word I could use to describe it so I will use it for um, bridal work and where longevity is uh, key however to be honest my bay has been the infamous Revlon Colorstay this foundation even though they had really um the, the shade range was not the best to me that is one of the best performing foundations in the sense that again i will wear that from morning this it is now 827 i would have made up my face since half past six this morning and i mixed um the l'oreal fresh wear in this area and the rest is revlon color state um, the L'Oreal Fresh Wear, I hate that foundation. Excuse me, I know a lot of people like it, but I hate it. Um, I have not done anything to this makeup except in the middle, in my T-zone. I had to um, blot with some powder because my face was really oily where I had the Fresh Wear. That makeup makes me look... I know it's supposed to be a fresh and natural looking makeup, but on me, it just looks oily but the Revlon color say you can put on that you can sweat you can jump you can roll and the foundation does not break down that is what I love about um, that foundation excuse if I'm looking up I'm getting some messages uh, coming in <sighs> and we're back so if I look a little janky a little jaded a little tired it's because I am I started filming about 6.30 is now after 10 my memory was full so I had to go and delete some stuff answered some messages spoke to some friends um, in the process of making something to eat because I'm hungry so I'm just gonna wrap up this video my last item imagine that I had one more thing before my memory um, became full was the Maybelline Superstay Again, another item that I had a love-hate relationship with. 
the first time I used that product, it was terrible. It broke up on my face. I looked like a monster after like four hours and I gave away mine. I also had the wrong shade. And uh, I retried it and I fell in love with it. For me, I have to use the um, proper type of primer in order for it to work. Thing is, I use so many different primers and powders that sometimes I can't remember the combination I use when I had a good day because I could never tell when I'll have a good day. It's only when I get back home and I'm like, hey, makeup held up good today. What did I use on my face? Can't remember. It's a good product. It's holy grail for a lot of personnel. Um, I would definitely give it a thumbs up. So my phone keeps acting crazy and timing out. I'd just like to say, let me just wrap this video up. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more content during this covid quarantine period let me know in the comments below if any of the items i had in my stash are your favorites or anything that you don't like you can recommend stuff um that i should try drugstore um hair care products for natural hair skincare i'm really trying to get into skincare right now so have a good night be safe stay blessed bye